Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a thriller, mystery, and drama film called Missing. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The film commences with an old tape of a father playing with his daughter. The mother joins them and takes the camera filming them while unexpectedly he starts to bleed. The tape rewinds back and is screenshotted showing the father and the daughter. The picture is renamed and then the Google account is deleted. The user then finds files of meningioma which was the brain tumor that the girl's father died from. The user then sees an article and documentary about David Kim, a father of a daughter who disappeared. Distracted by app text, the user texts a friend. Then June, the user, gets a call from her mother, Grace. Her mother shared that she is going on a vacation to Colombia with her new lover, Kevin. She then tells June that she will behave while she is away. June, as a teenager, knows she will rebel later. Her mother then tells her that Heather, her friend, will be looking out for her. Suddenly, Kevin appears behind the camera as he tries connecting with June, but June seems very uninterested. Her mother then comes into her room and says goodbye to her daughter and leaves. June then watches them by the security camera as they carry their bags to the car. June then gets a message from her friend, Vina, showing her trunk full of booze to party at June's house. Heather then shows up to check on her as she tells her she is doing good. When she leaves, June joins her friends in the countryside, then enjoy the fire and drink booze. June hangs with her friend almost every day as her mother is absent. Kevin then sends June a photo of their trip. June still continues enjoying her time spending and hanging out with her friends. Father's Day arrives and she gets nostalgic about her dead father. That night, she invited a crowd of friends to a party at her place before her mother's arrival tomorrow. During the party, June seems to be sorrowful, and as she drinks too much, she vomits. Later, she watches the last memory in a video of her father and posts a picture cropping her mother on social media before falling asleep. She then wakes up and realizes the mess around her. She hires a cleaning agency before going to pick up her mother at the airport. She then waits with a welcome sign, but after a while of waiting, she realizes that Grace and Kevin did not arrive along with the passengers. She gets worried and calls her mother, but she doesn't answer. She decides to call the hotel of their stay, and using Google Translator, she learns that they already left. She looks around the hotel with Google Maps and notices a CCTV. She tries asking for the footage, but it was only available to be retrieved in person. June decides to file a missing persons report. Next morning, she gets a call from an FBI agent named Park from the U.S. Embassy in Colombia. He asks her about her mother's disappearance as she had filed for missing persons. She then tries to get into her mother's Google account to find the geolocations, but was not able to retrieve access. She goes to a website of public cameras in Colombia to see if she can find anything regarding her mother's disappearance, but it was useless. After getting a notification of a cleaning agency hire, she decides to hire a Colombian worker, Xavier, to help her look into her mother's vanishing. She tries to convince Xavier to go to the hotel and check for the footage. He then asks her if she tried contacting Kevin with the help of her friend Vina. They call tech support to reset Kevin's passport and gain access to check on his geolocation. After successfully logging in, she looks into the geolocation and Xavier then gets in touch. She shares the bad news that the footage has been erased, but he then discovers that her mother had left the hotel at 1 p.m. and they went to a construction store. She then looks into Gray's credit card history and finds the area where she made the purchase and tells Xavier to check with the salesman. In a call with Heather, she convinces June that using Kevin's account is illegal, but it takes a dark turn when she discovers that he has been cheating on Grace. She then finds 27 people that have been blocked by his account. These emails travel back years, and she finds that we're calling him with different names. She looks for his real name on the search engine till a leak appears. The link led June to find a form from a federal prison where Kevin has been incarcerated for fraud. June then finds the woman's social media and discovers photos of her at her work. She calls the restaurant, but the number has been out of range for two weeks, and notices that Kevin had been in the restaurant based on his geolocation. She digs deeper and finds a house where Kevin has been. Finding the address and phone number, she calls and discovers that it is a rehabilitation service for the ex-convicts. She speaks with Pastor James, sharing her worries about Kevin scamming her mother. 
Sarah then contacts June and tells her that in the store Grace and Kelly went, they purchased a padlock. With no other leases, she decides to dig more on Kevin's email conversations with Grace. She then learned that they both meet through a dating app. June logs in with her mother's password as she uses it everywhere. In their conversations, June learns how they both meet and the growthful connection they have through all of the conversations. She then finds a video of her mother where she tells Kevin that she will share a secret in person that she never told anyone. Kevin then admits to her that he has been in prison. June then looks for clues as to where they had been by searching for romantic destinations. She finds a popular place where couples lock their padlocks, which answers why they purchase a padlock at the store. Xavier goes to visit and suggests June to check the public cameras. She searches for the date they went, and she finds Grace and Kelly locking their padlock at the bridge. But that's not all. Kevin decides to propose to her as people applaud them. June gets a call from the agent park with disturbing news. Her mother has been kidnapped with evidence from a bystander. June looks back at the messages from her mother and gets suspicious as she notices the dates. Also learns the woman is an actress. She then scrolls down the messages more, coming to realize that none of the pictures show her mother's face. At a press conference, Agent Park shares the kidnapping of the actress, Rachel instead of Grace. June realized that her mother never left her hometown on vacation. Authorities, along with volunteers, are searching for the woman. Later, a YouTube video showed Rachel being arrested at an airplane. In an interview, she explained that she was hired as an actress for a traveling project and said that when she got in the cab, she did not see Grace. Agent Park then shares unfortunate news to June that her mother is not who she says she is. Journalists created theories that Grace is not the victim, but the mastermind of her disappearance. June hands her friend Vina to take a look into her mother's past. Vina then finds a link to an encryption app for private messages. They try to log into Kevin's account using password reset and discover messages mentioning Grace. June tries to text this mystery person by impersonating Kevin and pretends that she has lost the phone number. When she checks for the number, she shockingly discovers that it is Heather's number. She decides to dig deeper in search of evidence with the help of a hidden camera from her watch. She goes to Heather's office, but she doesn't seem to be there and notices her computer's files being wiped out. Following broken beads on the floor, she then finds the body of Heather. The autopsy then reveals that she nearly missed the killer. The camera then zooms out, showing that June has been stalked through her computer all along. The watcher then gets texted by Kevin as he begs to help him get out of this messy situation. Vina later sends June a link of a live stream where the swan had found Kevin and was shot in the process. June then listens to her mother's voicemail and gets a hint of her email password that finally helps her access her email. She finds a blocked account and discovers an email mentioned that she deserves to know. As she goes through the browsing history, she finds several surveillance cameras that were purchased. Looking through them, the camera shows the exact location from her father's last video memory. She then gets interrupted by a call from Pastor James, who was at her door. She gets scared and threatens to call the police, but then discovers that it actually is her supposedly dead father. He tells her that Grace took her away from him because of an unstable mind and framed him, putting him in jail. She meets him in person and realizes that her father helped plan the kidnapping of Grace. She then gets a call from Venna. As she tries to respond, her father drags her out of the house, kidnapping her. On the old tape, it shows her father threatening Grace aggressively, which caused Grace to escape with her daughter away from this domestic abuse relationship. She then puts her father in jail due to the use of drugs. She then finds a lawyer, Heather, who helped her change her name to Grace. At the old house, her father ties June on a chair, leaving her alone in the room. Judging by his father's laptop, she learned that he has been stalking and following her. He then loads his gun and goes to the barn in the back where Grace is being held. He forces her to change her clothes, threatening her with a gun. But fortunately, she hits him with a brick, locking him in the barn, and escapes. Grace then finds her daughter in the house and unties her. Desperate for help, June tries calling Xavier from her watch, who helps her detect her location by finding the address from her Instagram post. Her father then enters the room, threatening them with a gun, and shoots Grace in the stomach. 
As June tries to escape, he attacks her, and as they struggle, Gray stands up and stabs him in the neck with a piece of mirror. He then manages to leave the room, locking them in. June asks for her through the camera as her phone is badly hurt. She then apologizes to her dying mother for everything. She gets the idea to use her phone to call the police using Siri through the live stream from her father's as her phone is near her laptop. Authorities then are seen approaching the house and find June's dead father, her wounded mother, and June. But this time is a documentary series that June is watching of her tragic story. Then her mother Grace calls her, interrupting her show that she is coming home. June and Xavier became great friends. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.